Hello and thanks for stopping by for my tutorial on uh, basic setup of your Zen cart. Uh, today we're going to deal with uh, adding products and categories to your Zen cart. Uh, if your Zen cart is uh, brand new, then it's going to look something like this. We haven't applied a template yet. And uh, well, no, it's not going to look like that. It's going to look like this. Uh, I've added a few products. I've gone ahead and added three right now, but typically this is going to be blank until you add products. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go back to the admin panel and the first thing you need in order to add products is to add categories. So you would mouse over uh, catalog and then down to categories and products. Click on categories and products and it'll open your categories. Now this will be empty. I've already added the category of books, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new category. Uh, I have a lot of collector beer cans that I got to uh, do these storage unit auction things, and uh, some guy had a, about a thousand beer cans, so I'm going to go ahead and put some of these on here. Uh, so what I need to do is put up a category, beer cans. And for a description, you can put whatever you want. I'll just put uh, antique beer cans. And you can upload a picture or something like that if you want to. I don't typically worry about that right now. It's something you can do later on. What, I, what this is going to deal with is just getting products up there. So we have beer cans as a category now. Now I have beer cans and books, so I have two categories. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to select beer cans. I'm going to add a new category because there are pop top and there are flat top and there are all different types. So I'm just going to put pull tab as a category name. And I'm not going to worry about the description at this point or anything, you can always come back in and edit that. So now we have, uh, let's go back to the main. So we have books, which I have a category under books, cookbooks, and then we have beer cans, which I have a category under beer cans. So uh, now that I've made my new category, I want to add products to it. So I'm going to go ahead and click on beer cans. And then I can make a further subcategory underneath the pull tab beer cans. I can do aluminum, uh, pull off, or you know the, the type that they used to have in the old day that used to litter the parking lot. Most of you are probably too young to remember that one. But anyway, uh, let's add a product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a product here, which is uh, an Eagles beer can. And what I'm going to do is, uh, to make it easier, I'm just going to cut it and paste it. This will be quicker off of an existing cart that I already have for another store. And we'll just go to collectibles here. One thing I want to point out, this cart is sitting on a Windows server. Uh, and I highly recommend against getting a Windows server because it just is so slow. So I'm just going to take rather than type this in. I'm going to copy this one out of this cart and just put all the information here. So the first thing you want to concern yourself with is a title. Uh, date available. You can fill that out if your product isn't going to be available for until a later date. I just leave it alone. Products manufacturer, I leave that alone. You can fill that in if you want to if you have a, a regular product. Now this is a taxable good for me, so it's because uh, it's here in Virginia. Uh, I'm going to put uh, $3.95 for price on there, and then the next thing is having to do with if it's software, skip shipping address, uh, always free shipping, special product download, blah blah blah. You can figure that out later if you're just doing products like I am. Uh, this really doesn't matter to me. You'd have to read up on that. Uh, product quantity minimum, that's uh, the least they can buy. If you're dealing with wholesale and you're not going to sell anything below, say, a dozen units, then you would put 12 in here. 
maximum. Uh, if you don't want them to buy any more than 10 or something, you'd put 10 in there. I can't imagine why, but you could. Uh, qu products quantity unit units. I don't really understand that one, but uh, minimum unit, maximum unit. Uh, if you think that applies to you, then you can go ahead and figure that one out. So I'm going to go back over to my other ad there, and I'm going to take the uh, uh, text for the body, and copy that and paste it over. And this is where you would just type out your description if that were into it, if that were what you were doing. Now we can leave this be, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in there just like this. So let's see, we got a. I only have one of these. If it were a product that I kept a, a stock of a bunch of them, then I would have a bunch, but I only have one. So uh, if you're like a eBay type seller or whatever, which is basically what I transitioned over from was selling on eBay to doing this, uh, then uh, you know you probably only have one of the item. That's my case here. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select an image. Uh, I can do thumbnails here, go down and see my image, and this is what I want ha to have display. All right, uh, if it's if I have a file already up there, let's let's say I'm selling widget number five and I got 700 of them, then I'm already going to have a file on the server. I wouldn't need to do that each time, so I would just put that file address in here. Product U URL. If there's a particular website for that product that you're selling that you want to share with the public, you'd put that in there. Uh, shipping weight, that's kind of important because when you go to set up uh, shipping through the post office and all that, it's going to calculate. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do fractions of a pound. Uh, typically when I send a beer can, it's anywhere from four to six ounces, so I will do point, uh, five, which is half a pound, that's eight ounces, that, that gives me plenty. Now sort order, if you wanted your item to sort, you know, uh, in a certain order, you would assign a number to that as, and, you know, look it over to see which, what your sort order would be. When you're done, you would hit that preview that I just hit, and that'll give you a preview. Of course, the picture of the can is going to be a little smashed up, and I'm liking the way that looks, so I'm going to go ahead and insert it, and then I'm going to go to my online catalog, which I do believe I've already opened. Yeah, I have. So I'll close that back out so you can see what I'm doing here. That's what you would click to preview the item in. And then when you click on the item itself, this is what you get. And so you see if it looks right and all that. Uh, here's another neat little nifty feature. When you click on this, it displays a bigger image. Now I have a two screen computer, so it's going to pop in the other screen. So I'll just have to drag it over here. Now you get a nice good good size view of the can. Now the next thing you have the ability to do is either add another new product and continue adding products or you can edit your product if you want to or get rid of it or turn it off. If you just want to turn it off you just click that button right there and the product will turn off meaning it will no longer display in the uh, in the Zen cart. So when I refresh the Zen cart you'll see that there's no beer can there and on beer cans under categories it doesn't have one. Now if I go back over here turn it on and I go back to this and refresh that you'll see it shows up there and now there's a beer can there. And uh, so the next thing is to edit. Uh, what I like to do is at the bottom of all of my uh, listings I put uh, a navigation bar and uh, some Google Ads. Now, a lot of people, if you go to the uh, Zencart forum, people have asked about putting in Google AdSense, and there's a lot of uh, you should, you shouldn't, and all that. I'm selling a beer cans worth about a buck, so you know. If somebody comes in here and saves me the hassle of packing it up and they leave through a, a Google ad, I'm, I'm fine with that. So anyway, I've pasted this code 
And what I've done is I've taken the code that I'm going to paste on the bottom of pretty much everything and I've saved it in a little notepad file, named it nav and 4x15 AdSense so I can easily find that in a folder I've made for AdSense stuff. Alright, I'm going to preview that and I see my nav bars up there and my uh, AdSense is there so I will go ahead and update it, meaning that that's going to show new. So now I'll refresh my Zen cart. I got the same thing, so I'm going to pull up my photo. And now I have a navigation bar on the bottom and I have ads by Google. Uh, unfortunately, these ads by Google, for some reason, uh, they're reading HTML in there. I'm sure if I come back in about a half an hour or so, it'll have something to do with beer cans more so than that. Uh, there's some other neat things you can do. Uh, Let's see, on this South American cookery that I've got, that I've already gone and put in, you can take your embed code from YouTube, if you have a YouTube video, and uh, see, so here's my YouTube video on here. You can just click share, and uh, let's see, embed. You get the embed code, and you would copy that, and let me close that window back out. And then in your, uh, let me go to the product listing. In your product listing, you can actually embed that code. Okay, hit the wrong one. You can embed that code right into the uh, product listing. And. Uh, Let's see, South American cookery. Yeah, that's that one. So if I pull up edit, it'll show the code that I've embedded in there. So the first thing I've embedded is I've embedded my uh, YouTube video of the product, and then I've embedded my navigation and my uh, AdSense. So let's go back to the listing, and up comes the YouTube video that's embedded. Uh, so you you can embed a video, which is a nice thing. You can embed in each listing, the AdSense and navigation stuff. And uh, let me go to a different cookbook here. Uh, this one here does not have uh, doesn't have any AdSense, or I mean it it does have AdSense. It doesn't have a video. What I like about this is I actually I put double AdSense on this one. Uh, just to see how it, how the layout would be, I've got to take it off the top. But you can see where this one's reading off of the uh, description, and it's going with recipes, party ideas, luau, cookbook, party food. Hey, if I had to leave this particular page, I'd want to leave through one of these links, which is just fine with me. You know, clickety clank, it all goes into you know my pocket, so that's fine. But anyway, that's a quick uh, primer on how you would add. Uh, listings. The next one I'm going to do is how to add a template because personally I don't really like the classic Zencart template. Uh, I'm just going to give you a quick look. This is a template that I've applied from uh, my other website uh, from a store, a uh, thrift store that I had. And uh, this is uh, one I'm going to be applying uh, in my next tutorial. It actually has a five window slider of categories and you can pick a category, a particular item that's sliding by and uh, by clicking either that category or the categories off to the left it'll take you right to that particular category of items that you have and uh, from there you can just nav on through. Anyway, thank you very much for coming by. I appreciate it, and uh, good luck with your site.